you know another designer I'm really impressed with? Kimberly Selden. Aww. Please welcome her joining it's us nice of you. on today's show. Well, I'd like to butter you up a little bit because well, I miss why you. I visit so often because well, it's always fun love. here. And even though you're colorblind, which we discovered today, I'm I will continue blind. to come back. Yes, you are colorblind. She but thinks I do not know the color of this cushion. This. We'll settle it. But you know what? Let's what? Oh, I want the audience to guess. What color is this cushion? Okay. It is not blue, it's green. Okay, let's hear from the blue people. Really big. Blue! It's blue, Trace. That's because you're mic'd right now, and we just heard you the loudest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is sort of a greeny blue gray. No matter, no matter how you slice, greeny blue gray, it's beautiful, and it's from HomeSense. So it is absolutely way. gorgeous. We want to talk a little bit about cottage style, and uh, yeah. that's what's happening here. Let's say you can't afford to have the cottage, right? but you want that rustic look in your home. Well, that's the thing. You know, we go to someone's cottage, we have the time of our life, and we think, oh, I wish I had a cottage, but we all have a house. Yeah. So often clients will say, you know what, I don't have a cottage. I want to have that casual, comfortable, everybody's welcome feel at home. Right. And you can do that whether your style is cottage style, or Canadian or any kind of loose country style. So some things are consistent throughout. For one thing, nothing has to match, which right. gives you tremendous flexibility. You're not like in a grip trying to make sure it's designer perfect, which is really challenging. So you can take a, a end table like this one that you might have found at a tag sale or it was a gift from your husband's mother or it's your grandmother's or whatever and it goes very nicely between next to other things that are found objects or right. even mixed wood tones because people get really hung up on that yeah. if I have if I have this medium oak can I have anything else can I mix them up and wood has two flavors formula uh, formal mm -hmm. and informal so as long as you're mixing informal woods you can feel free to mix them so oh, that's a good point right okay. so lighter woods tend to be more informal birch maple those kinds of woods right and then darker woods ebony and you know beautiful rich mahogany and cherries are more formal so feel free to mix liberally even like the driftwood color that you see here on the bunching table these are cute aren't though. those adorable like, what a great idea to have these tables because if you are looking for that cottage style you may be looking for extra seating right right depending on how many people you're having over or you might just be looking for pieces that you can move easily. If you want to have a dance floor all of a sudden, exactly. you can move these pieces out of the way. It's not a big deal, right? Exactly. And this will go beside the bathtub. This will go, you know, in the yeah. kitchen as a footstool. Like, I love finding those pieces that I can move around the house so I don't get tired and bored with things. That's right. Rotate that's, them. Whoops. That's another wonderful thing about a cottage. You never want to worry about anything breaking. So I just dropped yeah. this amazing print from Poster Jack. And these are ph photographs that they put on pieces very of cool. resin. At very very nice. affordable and really fun. So that's something to think about too. At the cottage, you never want your guests to be worried about picking up something fragile and breaking it. That's and what I love about the cottage. The dog runs through, the kids run through, everything can be messy. Right, here, look at this. This yeah. is a precious glass ball. Catch it, 8,000 oh. bucks. Good. Three ninety nine from HomeSense. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So can't believe you did that to me live on the television show. It's going to be one of those days, Trace. I was like, I can't afford this. Um, you mentioned Poster Jack. Yeah. This is Poster Jack as well. They right. always do such a great job for us here on uh, City Line. Look, it's like you just open the door and you're outside. I know. In the and nature. obviously this is a set, but quite honestly, this kinds of thing can make a really big impression at home. Yeah. So if you have a wall and you've got a limited budget for art, this is actually a great option. Super affordable. Very smart. Other things to think about in terms of just your textiles. You want things that are very tactile. You want things that are made of cotton wherever possible because that's going to clean very well. Yeah. Color doesn't matter. You know, whether this is green or blue, that doesn't matter. You're going to pick Screen. things that you love. Yeah. It's blue. For sure, it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> open baskets, you know, and the other thing is, you know, we've got always designers love groupings and oftentimes they'll have groupings of three. You all have this stuff at home. Right. You go to the store, you buy something, you use it for a couple years, you put it away, it goes in the back of a closet. <laughs> Dig all that stuff out when you're thinking about a cottage yeah, and style. Group it all and together. Just, exactly. I'm putting my precious piece in here. Put that okay, so piece let's there. talk about these pieces which do sort of scream cottage slash country living. Um, little things like this. Isn't that sweet? Using mason jars for your juice or whatever you like to drink at the cottage. And I, <laughs> Isn't that cute? And I love how playful the straws are too. Yeah. You know, that's the other thing. If you if you get into some of the contemporary styles that are very disciplined, you know, you even have to color match your straws or yeah, else things seem out of whack. And that's the joy of having a cottage style. Right. Rustic elements, rustic woods, rustic concrete. This I think is wonderful. It's a wine rack. 
Oh, that's cool. So, and this is how I know the audience had wine in their purse because one of them gave us this bottle. Oh, <laughs> right. It's half empty, people. Right. I've got floss in my purse. <laughs> this woman had wine in her bag. She had wine in her right. bag. I get that. Yeah. Um, She's at the right show. Casual elements like rope. Mm -hmm. And anytime you're thinking about a carpet, as a general rule, no matter what your style is, bigger open weaves are more casual. Right. Tight. Weaves mean they're more formal and therefore likely more expensive. So the other big advantage of a cottage country style is it's affordable. Right. So is that going to be easier to clean? Super easy to clean. Stick weave. to cotton. Stick to natural materials. And right. often you can just throw them in the wash and hang them on the line. Okay. Are you yeah. going to play that big drum over there? I just might. You never know. <laughs> so is this sort of talking about, you know, those pieces that you might have in the basement or in the attic and you don't know what to do with? Bring them out, right? Bring them out. If you're looking for a casual, comfortable, informal mix of style, this yeah. is the the way to go. Very cool. And very affordable. Can you Should like I drum me out of here? You ready? Yeah. 